I'm Rhoda, welcome to my channel. Today's workout is a PHA, peripheral heart action, compound and abs workout. So using PHA, we'll go from an upper body strength move to a lower body move, resting one while we do the other. That's gonna get your heart rate into a fat burning zone. Then we do a compound move where we take both of those exercises and do them at the same time. That's gonna keep your heart rate up. We have seven circuits. Each circuit ends with two ab exercises. So you're gonna get it all. You're gonna burn fat, increase lean muscle, and your metabolism over time, and work your abs and core. If that's the type of workout that appeals to you, please subscribe to my channel. There's never a cost to subscribe, and you help me keep your fitness free on YouTube. Let's go. Here we go. Are you ready to burn fat and calories while increasing your lean muscle, which is going to increase your metabolism over time? I hope so, because that's what we're doing in this workout today. Taking it down, little squats, activating the leg muscles. Bring the heels up and back. Really come up the body here. Knees up, twist it. So as we get older, we need to find ways to get our cardio without impacting our joints. It doesn't mean we can't do any high impact, but you don't want to be doing that every day. This is a great way to get your heart rate up into a fat burning cardio zone without any jumping using a variety of training techniques. Out and in with the arms. Good. And up and down, get the shoulders nice and warm. I'm using two sets of weights. You have options. Grab your different options and have them around you. Otherwise, use what you have. If you don't have weights, grab a couple water bottles. I'm gonna start with my heavier weight. Starting with our PHA work, we're gonna hinge down, do a row, then a fly, and back again, okay? Here we go. Hinge down, row, fly, and row, and fly. 30 seconds here, and then we'll go right into our lower body move, which is a deadlift. So heavier weights for these moves. This fly is challenging, but because we have the row in between the flies, I'm able to use the heavier weight. All right, here we go, into that deadlift. Down and up. Nice flat back here, weight is in your heels. Knees are slightly bent. As you come up, drive those hips forward, squeeze the glutes. Down and up. Keep going. You should feel that heart rate already coming up. We're using large muscles here. And we're not stopping. Going back to those rows. Ready? Bring it down. Row and fly. Row and fly. 30 seconds. Come on. Abs are tight here. Think about having your neck aligned with your spine. I'm looking out about three feet in front of my toes. Keeping that alignment. Keep going, we're right up to our deadlift now. So back to the deadlift. Down and up, remember, nice flat back. Feeling the back of the body move. Nice hamstring stretch, and then we're working on. Working your glutes. Lower back. Keep that weight close to the body. And your body weight in your heels. And we're gonna combine these two. So we'll deadlift down. Do our row, our fly, and stand. Ready? Here we go. Deadlift down, row, fly, stand. Keep going. Row, fly, bring it up. Take it down. Now you should feel that your heart rate is up. We're in the compound section right now. Compound moves. Get a little rest here, 15 seconds. Transitioning to our ab work. Allowing our heart rate to come down. 
while we work those abs, and we'll bring it right back up again, creating a hit, high intensity interval with each round. And rest, good job. Okay, I'm gonna grab one of my lighter weights, right into a sledgehammer, I'm gonna hold the weight on either end, feet are about shoulder width apart, I'm gonna come up around your right shoulder and down, and then we'll go back the other way. Here we go, up around, weight down. Now bring it up around your left shoulder. The key here is big upper body movement and hip movement. Work those abs up and around. Weighted standing abs. Nice and slow and controlled. Abs are tight as we rotate. Shoulder area and hip area is moving up and around. and finish back the way we came. Good. So next up, we have a wood chop. We're gonna chop one side, then the other. I want you to follow the weight with your eyes. Twist, bring it up, twist, and up. Three seconds we go. You ready? Weight is out, arms are fairly straight. Look at the weight, bring it up. Abs are tight here. Twist, make them work. You're working your core, working your abs. Twist it out. Almost done with your first round. Three second rest on the way. Keep going, come on. I know these are long rounds for abs. Summer's coming. Filming this the end of February. And rest, good. In the Northeast, so we're covered in snow right now, but summer is coming. Okay, moving on to our next circuit. We're gonna do cross punches with weight. So you're gonna punch and punch for upper body. Lower body is a squat and stand. Catch your breath, you have a few more seconds. I forgot to grab water, <laughs> that was not a good thing. Hopefully you have water, keep hydrated. Pretty soon, we're going with the cross punches. Are you ready? Three, two, one, here we go. Punch, in, punch, in. Control the weight. My palm faces the ground in the punch. Abs are tight. Twist from the waist. You're working that core and your glutes. Glutes really are part of the core. It really goes from above your knees right up to your chest. Punch across. Get ready. Moving on to the lower body, no rest. We have our squats down and up. Sitting in a chair, up and squeeze. And this is different than the deadlift. Chest stays up here. You are hinging a little bit from the waist. Get as deep as you can. So long as the knees are okay. If the knees bother you, you're gonna just little tiny dips, okay? Chest is up though. Weight's in those heels. Down and up. At the top, always finish the move, squeeze. Going back to those punches, here we go. Punch, remember to twist and push. Abs tight. How you feeling? This is a good workout. This is very popular, PHA on my channel. PHA at home workouts. Don't need a gym. Just need a couple water bottles or some dumbbells, back to squat, here we go. Down and up. If you're using water bottles or soup cans, good for you, that's how I started. Think about getting some hand weights. Get some fives and some eights. It's a good starting point for women, especially if you're new to strength training. Down and up. And combine this move. We hold the weight up like we did for the cross punch. We do our squat. We come out of our squat with the punch. Here we go. Squat, punch, squat, punch. Nice and slow and controlled. The slower you go, the more engaged those muscles are. And we want that. That's what brings the heart rate up. Without sprinting or jumping, 
using a lot of muscles. They need oxygen to perform, or they want oxygen, that's how they perform best. So they're asking your heart to pump more blood. So it's gonna be faster, right? Which means you get breathy, because the heart is asking the lungs for help. Send the oxygen and rest. Whew, nice job. All right, moving on to our next ab segment. I'm gonna grab a heavy weight, doing oblique leans over and up. Deep breath, you're gonna get a chance for the heart rate to come down here. Ready? Here we go. Over, lift with the waist. So what I mean is, you're not lifting this weight right like that, right? You're not using that arm or shoulder. It's just creating a pendulum for you. And you're using the core to bring the body up. I'm thinking about being up against a wall, not leaning forward at all. Keep this move as if you're touching the wall the entire time. Shoulder blades, hips, and heels. Over and up. These are effective. Come on. Work in the waistline. And nice job, rest. Okay, moving on to the other side. Whew. We will be down on the mat eventually for ab work. You would take care of some of these standing abs first. I love weighted ab work. Ready? Here we go. You do not do a lot while standing using weights on your abs. Over and up, come on. My clients know you show up in their workouts quite often. Over and up. Rest is coming, finish strong with me. Whew. Couple more, come on. They're worth it, you're worth it. Over and up. And rest, nice job. All right, take 30 seconds, grab some water. Ready to move on. We have a hammer and a press. And I'll go with my heavier weight. I'm gonna hammer the weight up, press it up, bring it down, and release the hammer. The lower body, alternating side lunges. Stepping out to your right first, and then your left. I'm gonna use a staggered stance, one foot forward, one back. My shoulders are up and back. Here we go. Hammer, press. Think about keeping the elbows nice and tight with the body on that hammer press, or the hammer, the press part, obviously. Elbows are gonna move up right there. And you can stand with your feet shoulder width apart, side by side, one foot forward, one back, whatever foot feels better forward is the one you want to use. Get ready. You ready to go side lunge? Let's step to your right first. Over and up. The leg I step out on bends. The other one's straight. I'm hinging back like I'm in a deadlift. So my hips go back. My back is flat. Weight on either side of the foot. Over and up. Inner thigh jiggle, lots of work on it. Headed back to hammer press. Here we go, hammer press. Are you breathing a little heavy? Take note of that. That means you're burning fat. So when we're in this lower end cardio, low end of your cardio range, you're burning percentage wise more fat than if you're in the high end of your range, like out sprinting or doing something like that. So, you're getting a lot for your money here. Out to the side, here we go, side lunge. So if we're burning 70, 80% fat versus 50% fat, you may burn more calories, a few more calories, not really worth noting on the high end, but they're not fat calories. On the low end, most of the calories we're burning are fat. Over and up. And one more to the other side. Now we combine hammer, go over, hammer up, press. Now as the hammer comes down, 
other side. Control the weight as it comes down. Try not to swing. Control it. Keep those elbows in. Harder than it looks, right? Two, my two favorite training techniques in this video, DHA and compound moves. This is your compound. And that's gonna do it. Take a 15 second rest, moving on to abs. I'm gonna use one of my lighter weights. Think about being on track and field, discus. We're gonna take this weight behind your right leg, you're gonna twist, bring it up, here we go. Twist down, control this move. Controlling the weight, feel the crunch here, squeeze the bum there. Twist down and up. Abs tight. Pull the belly button to the spine. You're gonna feel them working right here. The whole core going in this move. Stay with it. We're almost on this side. Let's do one more. Timer to the end. Good. Okay. So other side. Just gonna use those inner obliques right in here is where you're feeling this. Deep breath. How's your heart rate? Mine's right up there, low end cardio. Just what I want. It's coming down a little bit, I'm sure, from where it was with this ab work. But there's a lot going on here too. Twist. Up. Squeeze. Twist. Squeeze that glute right there. Rest is coming. You have about 20 seconds. Stay with it. Stay with it. Almost there. And let's call it a rest right there. Good job. Okay, grab that water. Take the breather, going to a swing through with two weights. So we got two weights, I'm gonna bring it down, up, and we open and close. Our lower body move is gonna be a wide squat, knees out. Whew, catch your breath. <laughs> that rest goes quick, doesn't it? We're ready to go swing through. Arms are fairly straight here. Take them out, swing through the knees, bring it up. Open, so this is an ab move right here. Abs are tight, core. Up, hold them tight. That's chest and back right here. Here's your ab. Hold them tight. That core is really working. Get ready. Finish this one. Out, in, wide squat, down and up. Now your toes are out to the corners of your room. So a 45 degree angle on those feet. Toes aren't out to the side. That would really decrease your stability. You should be able to get nice and deep in this move and then feel the control down and up. It's time to go back to that swing through. Ready? Here we go. It's a tough crown right here. This one's tough. tight, driving the hips forward, squeezing the glute. Your body check. You want these rounds and reps to count. Good. You ready? Back to the squat. Down and up. So you can see how this is going to fit together, right? We're going to swing down as we squat. Raise the weight up as we stand. And do that T in the middle. Going in about 10 seconds for the combination. It's 
One more and then we go into compound. Ready? Here we go. Swing it down, up, open, close. Deep squat. As you bring the weight down, abs tight right here. And I should mention shoulders down. Intense, you want to lift the shoulders there, kind of help the move. Do your best to relax those shoulders so the neck doesn't get squished up there. Come on, <laughs> we're halfway through. Finish strong, we yeah, have about 10 seconds left. You got this, come on. 15 second rest and ab work is next. You hear me? I am up and bumping. Nice job, good job, okay. Whew. Bring it down to your mat. You've got a side crunch. Nice strong shoulder. Hand behind your head. One or two knees. Crunch. Kick it out. Crunch. Out. Or one knee. Out. Crunch. And out. And if you're looking at this move going, you got to be kidding me, Rhoda. Trust me. When I first did this move, I said the exact same thing. There is no way I can do that. But like anything in life, with practice, yes you can. You just need to stay consistent. I know it's a 40 minute workout here that you're doing. You don't have to do 40 minutes. A lot of 10 and 15 minute workouts on the channel. If you're short on time, do something, right? Even 10 minutes, if it's on a single muscle group, you're gonna get results. It's all about consistency. Ready? One knee out or both knees. Ready? Here we go. Crunch it. Crunch and kick. Feel those abs work. You've already put in three rounds of ab work right here. Keep them going. Nice strong shoulder here. Don't sink into it. Crunch and kick. Good. Rest is coming. Couple more if you can. Rest if you have to. But if you can finish with me. And if you can't, guess what? Someday you will. I promise. Just keep coming back. All right. You are more than halfway through this workout. Come on up. Grab some water. And you. And a little bit of glistening. So I call it glistening. We don't sweat around here. We glisten. All right. Now I'm going to grab one of my heavier weights because we're going to do a tricep move. Elbows forward. Pushing that weight up, just one weight, so you can go heavier if you have options, okay? If not, you could use two weights. So hand behind, push it up, elbows forward. Now I know, it looks like my elbows are out a little bit. Kind of how cameras work. If they were out though, I'd look like this. All right, so I'm pushing them as far forward as I can in this move. I wanna get the back of my arm. We all do, right? <laughs> pretty consistently an area we want to work. All right, weight is down, curtsy lunge, right leg back. Curtsy and up, just like that, alternating. Weight is in the front heel and the back toe. Really take this backwards. Feel that glute, abs are tight. Or is working, especially in the compound moves, the combination moves, core has to work. All right, ready? Back to your tricep, up and down. This move will look a little different when we do the combination, because while you curtsy, I want that weight in front, not behind your neck. So I'll show you how that works. Just a little press, a little press in there. More right here though. Feel it? Is it burning? Get ready for your curtsies. Bring that weight in front. Right leg back. Curtsy down and up. So when we do our combination, which is coming up, as we come up out of the curtsy, we're going to push the weight straight up from where it is right here. 
while we're standing up here, we'll do our tricep extension, and then as we curtsy to the other side, the weight will come down. So follow me. One more straight curtsy right here. And now we combine, ready? Curtsy, push it up, tricep as the weight comes down, curtsy other side, and up, just like that. Remember your elbows, push them forward here. Abs are tight, feel them? We're hammering on those abs today. These compound moves work them too. Last one. Finish the tricep. Right there. And <laughs> good job. All right. Take it back down to your mat. We have a couple options here. Call this a sprinter crunch. Bring your knee in. Kick your leg. And reach up. Or modification right here. Lift the shoulder blades back down. Shoulder blades, or the more advanced, reach up. Again, this is one I saw in the beginning and said, you have got to be kidding me. I was there 20 years ago, and I really started to work out regularly, which led me to being group exercise and personal trainer. I actually found out I liked exercise. I was 38 at the time. I'm almost 59, yikes. But it's just a number, right? You take care of yourself. Hopefully your body takes care of you too. And rest, good job. Catch your breath, other side. Remember, right here, even if you need to put a hand behind your neck if your neck's getting tired, bringing those shoulder blades off the mat. Ready? Deep breath. Here we go. Lift. And lower. Bring it up. Relax your neck as best you can, right? You don't want to be putting too much tension on that neck. Keep it in line with your spine. That's going to help. I love this you right here. I have my whole family right in front of me. I <laughs> love that. Reach up and down. Right here. We're going to be down on the mat, starting with the chest press. All right, I'm going to use my heavier weight. Often my clients say, oh, I can't do that heavy weight for chest. But then they do it and they realize again because we have a lot of power in that chest. We're going to hold the weight across our chest, push our back to the mat, weight goes straight up and down. Think about it as if you were holding a bar with plates on the end. Your hands don't move position on that bar, right? So go straight up and down. Abs are tight here. Push that back to the mat. I'm gonna pair this with a glute bridge. I'm gonna bring our heels in nice and far, real close into the butt area there. Right, gonna drive through our heels, weight just by your side. Drive through the heels, hips up, come halfway down. Drive it up, squeeze the bum, that's what we're working. Hamstrings, back of the leg, and nice quad stretch in the front too. I have my toes off the ground just to make me push through my heels. Proper form, it's gonna get me the best results. Squeeze. Don't go fast here. All right, squeeze at the top. Back to your press. Here we go. Up and down. Rest on the lower body. Now your heart rate's going to be a little lower because you're laying flat. The heart doesn't have to work as hard because it doesn't have to pump blood up above itself to your arms, your neck, your shoulders, your brain. So heart rate's down a little bit. Let this strength work. 
really matters. Back to the glute bridge. The strength work, I'm gonna put my heels in a little more. The strength work, it develops those lean muscles and lean muscle needs more calories to exist than fat or wimpy muscles, right? <laughs> I don't know what else to call them. But strong muscles need more calories. So your metabolism increases. You burn more calories. You can eat a little more. Ready? Back to the chest press and the glute bridge. Ready? Up and down. Push and squeeze. This is challenging. It's not easy. Do your best. You need to alternate and do the glute bridge and then the press. If you're just starting out, there's an option for you. Switching back and forth within the time allotted. This 45 second compound round here. I didn't mention our last round is all abs. It's gonna be fun. And that is coming up. Good. All right, we are on a rest. I'm gonna move my weight out of the way. We have a bicycle. Hands behind your head. Here's your beginner option. Knee up, foot down, shoulder to knee, or right here. You wanna add a little bit of speed. That's fine, like that. Just make sure that you're really pulling that shoulder to knee and you're using your abs, not just elbows flailing, okay? Get that cross twist right there, twist. Support your neck. Your hand is a basket. The neck is relaxed. Twist it out. If you need a rest, this is hard, I get it. You need a rest, take it, come right back in. Before you know it, you won't be rested. That's so fun when you see your progress and it doesn't take long, it just takes consistency. Good, rest. Now I'm gonna take my hands and put them under my bum. I'm creating a bit of a shelf so I don't roll into this lower body move. Okay, we're gonna take our feet up, they're gonna cross. The more advanced you are, the lower they can go. Push your lower back to the mat, that's the key. That's gonna engage those abs. You can be way down here, so long as that back is pushing into the mat. As soon as that back comes up off the mat where your back arches, you need to bring your legs up a little higher. If you're just beginning right up here, just hold those abs nice and tight. Lower abs, waking them up. Not going on the screen there. Good job. Okay. Uh, we have our other. Where are we at? We're at our rest. I'm sorry. Got a little disoriented there. Really focusing on those abs. All right. So our next um, next PHA, our final round, actually. Eyes on the ceiling. Chin off the chest. Think about a grapefruit under your chin. Shoulders up and down for a crunch. Lower body. Put our hands down real quick. Crunch in. Kick out. Starting with the upper. Ready? Deep breath. Back to the mat, lift. See how I'm looking straight up? By doing that, I keep my neck nice and straight. As soon as I look down at my knees, I'm crunching here. And that just invites neck pain and stiffness. I'm also using my hands to completely support my head. My neck is relaxed. Pushing me back to the mat. Up and down, one more, quickly. Hands come down right underneath your bum, crunch in, kick out, squeeze the abs, extend the feet. You're just starting out. Maybe right here, no extension of the feet. As soon as you feel the back coming off the mat and those feet go out, it's time to modify and come right here. Once you get the benefit without injury. Upper body, up and down, burning, right? Wow. So people think my job is 
to bring you exercise, which is true, but my number one job and the thing I take very seriously is proper form and safety. I need you to do these moves correctly, which is why I'm constantly giving you little pointers and cues. Ready to go lower body, one more time, in and out. And often those cues come from me realizing I'm not pushing my back to the mat, for example, or I'm not keeping my eyes on the ceiling. So, just reminding you as I remind myself, abs tight here, feel them? You should be nice and warm. We're gonna put this all together. Good. Ready? Crunch it in, kick it out. Crunch, out. Modification, crunch, Back to tabletop, crunch. I'm still keeping my eyes on the ceiling. I'm not looking at my knees. And my legs are up about 45 degrees, maybe even a little less of, <laughs> less of an angle. I'm tired. I want to get the ab work, but I want to protect my back. Almost there. I took a quick glance at that clock. Rest. All right, we'll finish this off. Having a little fun. Okay, we're gonna flip it on over. We have a plank. You're gonna hold your arms like this. You're gonna be on your knees right here. Be more advanced. Come on up. Feet wider. Gives you a little stronger base. Okay. Feet together. A little harder. Knees down. Right here, you're gonna feel those abs. They're contracted, they are working. This is way better right here than up like that. So if you feel like you're up in a mountain and you're not nice and flat, bring those knees down, hold it here. More effective. And keep breathing. Come on. 15 seconds left, come on. Whew. Breathe, don't hold your breath. Tight. And 15 second rest. We'll finish in a high plank. A little easier. Okay. Up on using your arms and shoulders. You can be on your knees here. Up on your toes. Feet wide. Pick what level works for you. Here we go. This is your last 45 seconds. Give me all you've got. Keep breathing. Nice and tight. Nice and strong. My arms are shaking. Are yours shaking? <laughs> Leave me a comment. They're shaking. <laughs> they should be. I hope they are. That means we did our job. Can you hear me breathing? My heart rate is still up there. We're closing in on 10 more seconds. Stay with it if you can. Come on. You need to go to your knees. Go to your knees. If you've been on your knees the whole time and stuck with it. Good for you. Good for you. Oh, my goodness. Awesome job, awesome job. All right, let's roll out those arms. See, I do these, get this filming in the morning while my family's still in bed and the sun is coming up. It's a bright, beautiful day. Whew, all right, let's go hands and knees. Round your back. It's gonna feel tight with all that ab work. Pull that hip area to your chin. Look at your knees. Open up and round across the shoulder blades too. Completely reverse this. I always say let the abs go bleh. One more time, round the back up. And flatten toes together, knees out. Rock back and do a child's pose. If you have more time, I know this is a long workout, but if you have more time, there is a stretch playlist on the channel. It stretches anywhere from seven to 20 minutes. Hop on over there and do a longer stretch if you can. Clasp your hands, bring them behind your head. It's gonna hit your tricep. Bring the body weight down on those elbows. All right, bring it on up. We're gonna bring one knee forward, one back. Call this an S sit. It's either an S or a backwards S, depending on which way you're sitting. 
and body weight down. Stretch the glute area, the back of the leg a little bit, inner thigh. Bring this back, plant the outside hand, reach up, open up that hip, all that crunching. Stretch that hip. And come down, twist over this knee. Look out over the shoulder. And come back to center and we'll switch sides. Bringing the body down over the knee. Reach up, feel the hip stretch. Love this stretch. Take it on down and twist over this knee. And back to center, kick the legs out. Reach for your ankles, you need to grab your shin or your knees wherever you can. Rounding the back, stretching a good stretch up the back of the legs. All right, come on, have a seat. Big smile, because you did it. That was a hard workout, and you burned a lot of fat and calories, plus you're gonna increase your metabolism over time by doing these strength moves. Have a wonderful day, and thank you for joining me. Give it a thumbs up, please subscribe, and come back often.